What's up, everybody? We're back for another episode of Champagne Gains. I am Coach Beckett. Coach Kiki is here. Coach Kiki is here back from the Olympia. Yeah. Um, first of all, today is four years to the day of my first show. Aw. Thank you. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. My <laughs> bodybuilding anniversary. Nice. My, uh, there was four people there. Four bikini competitors total. <laughs> oh my god and um so it was I did have one other person in my class and I won my class so good job back in um wow. and then I went up for the overall against Brittany Shrimp um I don't know if that's how you say last name but me and her both turned pro this year so that oh was, there you go yeah. that's really cool. right but South Dakota Sioux Falls South Dakota is where I was at this was my only show without Kiki as my coach. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> then we, then it all turned around in a mm-hmm. good way. <laughs> I was so, I was so flat, like, looking back. I obviously didn't know that at the time. I'm like, I'm so shredded. I look so good. My veins are popping out. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Not what I, I, I know. And it's like, that's like when we're coaching like new competitors, you know, if you don't have the muscle development built, like you have to, you have to get shredded. Yes. Um, You can't, or else you're, you're going to come in. Like if you want to look full, like you're just not going to be conditioned enough. Mm -hmm. Just don't have the muscle tissue. Right. Yeah. That fine line. I mean, cause that's how I was my first show. I was so, so flat because I had to, to be able to see any sort of muscle that I had. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did not have much. I mean, obviously not very many glutes, not very much glutes. My upper body, everybody's upper body always comes in. Like, yeah. Yeah. But um, so yeah, I mean it's uh I didn't watch I wasn't in Vegas for any of the Olympia amateur. I don't even oh, know. Yeah. I don't even know how big the show was or anything. I saw one of Team Elite Physiques girls won it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've um heard Ashley and Adam talking about that on their podcast. Um, but yeah, I mean Ashley looked good. Mm-hmm. Like, I um I don't want to say I'm not a a fan of Ashley, but I've never like gravitated towards her physique, but she looked very good um her I mean her backs her glutes are always like where they need to be but like her upper body finally looked like nice and full Mm -hmm. um and so it's just it's kind of cool to just see like everybody's like physiques especially if you pay attention throughout the year and then like what they're you know bringing to the stage um I know her first show back this year after her eye surgery, she definitely came in a little bit fuller than she normally is. And, uh, I mean, the judges like that. Um, everyone I think is used to Ashley just being like shredded. Um, but I think for the Olympia, they found a really good balance of that full and shredded look for her. Mm -hmm. Um, I was, I realized, um, like two days later after Laura Lee won, I was like, oh my gosh, she crowned me. We have a picture with Miss Olympia. Oh my gosh, we do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad Laura Lee won. You know, I think it was just, it was a, it, she finally did it, you know? Yeah. And yeah I the, love her. Um, I mean, she, I, I think I like her a lot just because like she trains really hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish I could have the results <laughs> from her training hard as much as I'm training hard too. You know, yeah. she just puts on muscle really, really easily. Um, but it was, it was good to see her finally win. And I think she'll be a good like ambassador this year yeah. um, because she, she is very active in the industry going to shows and um and things like that so it's as uh, I love Jen Dory so much so um it was obviously like I always want Jen to win but it was cool to finally see you yeah know, new and you know new bikini champion mm-hmm. one of my clients is like so what are your thoughts on who won the Olympia I was like 
I love, I love her. I adore her. <laughs> she crowned me. So uh, she has a special place in my heart. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was, um, bikini was, I was trying to like, I was so focused on, um, getting, making sure Ben felt good and Tamikia getting her ready and making her sure, making sure she felt good. I wasn't really paying attention to like anything else. Right. Um, how did Tamikia do? She got, um, I forget what call out it was. Uh, she wasn't in the top 15, um, but she, she was just burning through food. Mm. Like her, uh, they got her ready to, you know, start the load and her, then her body just took off. Um, it was hard to keep feeding, like keep feeding her and like stalling and like having it like stick um I think they started on Wednesday with like 300 carbs Thursday I mean I think even more than that um Friday she had a burger and fries for like meal five and then after that she had a big chocolate muffin um and then Saturday morning, I think she had what I don't remember, like the carb amount that she had, um, but like a typical like meal one early in the morning. And then when I was fixing or doing her uh, top coat of tan, she was eating another muffin. And then she had another meal before she went on, like before she went over to the venue. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. um, it was it was running long for whatever reason. Um, and like Ben was like, apparently Ben like got off stage cause it was classic physique, men's physique, then bikini. So Ben was on stage. Um, and then when he got off, he like immediately obviously went over to Tamika and he was like, I was just feeding, like putting, trying to put anything in her mm -hmm. that I could like what, and especially being in Vegas with, um, the dry heat, like oh. we had to, keep, we had to keep water in, um, which is like weird mentally as a competitor because you're like I don't want to have to go to the bathroom and fix my tan and right all the time and feel the water in you but it was just I didn't even think about that like the weather yeah I think she just ended she was just ended up being a bit flat on stage mm -hmm. um and honestly that's that was the same thing with the men men's physique too um so me and Ben ran into Steve DeVore we love Steve. <laughs> Shout um, out. We saw, we ran into him on Sunday and we were just kind of talking about um, men's physique and bikini. Um, and he was saying how all the men looked off because like classic physique was going. And of course, you know, backstage, the people are like, oh, we got to go. You got to go get in line, blah, 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 blah. So all the guys are like, you know, it's at the guy, the men's level, it's the timing is way more important in terms of what they're eating, how they're pumping up. Um, so they don't go like it. Obviously, it's important for a bikini, but it's like even more detailed with the men of the timing. And then they took a break. So Ben's was like Ben was kind of mad because he was like, I was like, full and ready to go oh and then gosh. and then they took a break and I was like how is this happening at the Olympia did they know they were having a break like I like at this stage like the largest stage right set freaking times so like even if it was even if the break was longer just because they were saying the men are going to go on at 12 30 p.m. Cool. To have a longer break. Bob, yeah. uh, the voice of bodybuilding, he can go up there and just talk, you know, entertain the crowd while so the men know exactly what time they're going on. So that was kind of frustrating. Um, and I think it's kind of similar with the with the females. They didn't go on. I didn't have to look at the timing of like my video of when um the bikini finally went on but you would think it would be scheduled yeah yeah but once again no one asks us anything
<laughs> I know. I was, we talked about that several times. Yes. Because, like we love, I loved the Olympia being in Vegas because it's more of a vibe. Oh yes. Definitely more of a vibe. Um, is it convenient in Orlando? Absolutely. Um, because it's <laughs> literally the convention center, the hotel is, there's just one little walkway. Mm -hmm. Well, the pre-judging is obviously at the expo for the Olympia. Um, but the convention center is farther away from the host hotel. So they have shuttles, but it's like, you have to go down, get on the shuttle, wait until the shuttle is full and then go over there. And the, like, so I didn't like that for, right. from an athlete's perspective. Um, I think it would have been better to find a different uh, like hotel that already had a convention, like already had like right. a luxury convention center with it um because like for finals it was really nice because it was in the theater at resorts world so all we had to do was walk downstairs and it was right there um but, but yeah that's really interesting like, fuck getting on a shuttle like with your tan on no thank you your bag yeah even when me and alexa went to the expo on friday they didn't have the convention center parking lots open. They were closed. What? Like, we, because we were like trying to figure out where to park. A, there was no signs for parking. Um, and so we like kind of like drove up towards where the convention center was because we're like convention center parking. Like at this point, I'm just going to pay whatever. Right. No, they were wide open parking lots that oh. were just that were just closed off and I think like they probably think that a lot of people aren't going to be driving to the convention center because you know it's the people coming in hmm. like staying at like the local hotels or whatever but <laughs> but uh, Alexa was driving too that gives me like thinking about driving in Vegas gives me anxiety <laughs> like, yeah. And then we had both both her kids with us for the, oh. the ex for Friday's expo. Um, and so we ended up parking in some like random apartment complex. And we're like, well, hopefully it's start this car still here. And so we're like walking down the side of the street. Like I'm like pushing a stroll. I'm pushing a stroller. I love it. <laughs> I look, I was like, I'm not meant to do this. I'm not meant to do this. <laughs> oh my God. That's amazing. So it was definitely kind of like, I don't know, logistically weird. I wish they would have a comment box and someone would ask me, but yeah. It would be amazing. Um, How was, tell me about your time with Alexa. Oh my God. I love Alexa. Obviously we love Alexa. Um, It was great. It was, it was really cool to kind of like, you know how we always say we want to be with our clients to watch how they do things. Mm -hmm. It was really cool to like watch how she does things. Yeah. Um, I think it would be different. I would like to see what, how like her improvement seasons, how she acts mm -hmm. with like what she's doing in terms of like food prep and meals and things like that. Um, probably my favorite thing was watching what the kids, how the kids interacted. Mm -hmm. Um, like with their food, just because I'm just so curious about yeah. whatever everyone eats. Um, so like just watching like her two-year-old and five-year-old, like what, what they eat, how much they eat, what they gravitate towards. It was so, it was very interesting. Um, yeah. but James, James is the five-year-old and, um, we were, uh, Alexa was like, so, what are the, James, what are the three important things that we have to think about when we're creating our meals? He was like, carbs, fats, protein. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, so like for like a breakfast or a snack, it's like Greek yogurt and then fruit. Um, and then like whatever, like bullshit. Honestly, it's just for like them. It's like, they just need to eat. Right. <laughs> so like... <laughs> 
<laughs> and that's so cute. But seriously, like you are the model for your kids and what you eat, they're going to eat. I, I hear about that on Mind Pump all the time, obviously, because I don't have kids. But <laughs> um, like they're one of their kids, they he like they don't keep candy around the house so he'll like if he but they don't let him not have it but he'll always choose like yogurt and yeah have, like a snickers bar yeah yeah and like um we like we were dropping james off at school um and we went through chick-fil-a drive through i did not get anything um but <laughs> james got a like he like likes their grilled chicken nuggets and he got a fruit cup you know so like he was that's what he wanted yeah his um alexa was like james what do you want from chick-fil-a he's like grilled nuggets and fruit i'm like oh i think the fries <laughs> i feel like i'm side of fries please <laughs> yeah yeah but just being able to be with alexa like um you know um, if you guys listen to the other podcasts, we, we did mention, we did kind of switch some things up with her, her plan for prep, just because, um, we, like, I didn't realize how much she was moving as a group fitness instructor and a mom, mm -hmm. um, in just her daily life. So, you know, it was, it was good to kind of just like get her into m even more of the bodybuilding mindset than what she was before. Like, yeah, she was doing everything beforehand, um, but you know, we kind of dialed things in a little bit more in terms of her food sources, taking away her cereal, um, and, you know, just talking to her about like, you know, whether we step on stage this year or not, it's just like, right now your job is to prep and get excited and happy in the moment of prepping, um, and your physique will get there. And like, stress levels just like went down when she kind of just stopped fighting the the mental battles in her head That's um, good. and being able to train her too, like watching her train um and just like giving her certain cues on things mm -hmm. being able to touch her butt you know yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was good um it was exhausting because she was like did both the kids um great birth control that's for sure uh, yeah <laughs> yep I feel that I feel that except um I don't know I feel like whenever I'm around my niece and nephew I get like oh, now I want kids because <laughs> the baby's so good <laughs> and Elia is just precious yeah um that's what Alexa was talking about she was like if James was a girl, I think it would be better. But then I was like, like one would just like randomly cry. I'm like, why are we cry? Why, why are we crying? Yeah. It's always so weird. Like, what do you like? Elliot did that. <laughs> like, what are you crying about? <laughs> Stop your crying. <laughs> but I mean, the Olympia is always a like, good um time to like see people, connect with people. Um, you don't feel weird about pulling out chicken from right. your pack. Um, <laughs> it's also, I think everybody just gets hyped up after the Olympia. Like, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. It's, I, gotta <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a new, uh, weight belt there. It has, uh, the, it has its uh, Olympia on the back. Yeah. So, all right. Since motivation. It includes like shit. I, we're getting there. Yeah. Please. please. <laughs> <laughs> Pray to the glue gods. Did you buy anything else there? Um, I bought four bags of Elevate creamy rice. <laughs> How is it? Oh, it's so good. I mean, Ben, that's what I had when I was staying with Ben for mm. the one show. Um, and I was like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta buy. And it was like, it was $15 for a bag instead of 28. So I like, first bought three and then I was like no wait give me that flavor too because yeah. it's cheap. but then the, those bags are so heavy really? and I only had 40 pound oh. a 40 weight limit on my bag so I was like concerned 
So I put the Elevate in my backpack. And then, of course, TSA thought I was bringing in bomb drugs. And they just weren't very nice at the airport. And I was just like, I had got like a full pat down. I was wait like I was in TSA pre-check. So I was like through the line, but then I had to have a full pat down. They had to check all the stuff. And then only one of like the cookie butter flavor of Elevate like was the one that like was needed special testing. So they had to like open it and, it. and I was just like, and the guy was like, next time, like put this stuff in your check bag. And I was like, sir, my check bag was full and I didn't want it to be overweight and pay for that. And he was like, well, next time. And I was like, okay, next time I'd bring four bags of cream of rice to the airport. I'll be sure to put that in my check bag. Yeah. <laughs> you dude. Oh my God. I promise it's not a bomb. Like, do you want some, do you want to try this? I mean, it's pretty good. <laughs> Why would they need to open it? That's insane. Yeah. And it was just so weird that like, it was just the cookie butter flavor. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I think that's all I bought. I was trying to yeah, be good. Anymore, I have BB Pro apparel. No, I didn't even see them, their booth there. Oh, really? Yeah. I yeah, mean, I it was they- there. I wish they had sweatpants. Yeah. Well, we need to talk about Ben. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Ben. <laughs> so this was his third Olympia. Um, and I mean, it was, it, he looked so good. Yeah. Uh, I think the main part of going into the show was trying to keep his stress levels low. <laughs> um. And that's like, cause when you're at that high of a level, the stress and uh, pressure can definitely get to, to athletes more than I think some people realize. Yeah. Um, Cause you either burn through food or, and you have to keep filling or, you know, you have bad digestion, like, like you'll get like stress diarrhea. <laughs> um. So honestly, just keeping him calm. And like, I was like the liaison, like he was obviously watching Tamikia and then I was just making sure Tamikia was doing what he told her to do. Mm -hmm. Um, But he, he came out and it was, I mean, he just like had that presence. Like he, like, like this was definitely his best. Yeah. Um, and he wasn't in the initial first call out, um, which was top eight. So, I mean, he got surprised. He got ninth. Um, yeah. He wasn't in that initial first call out, which I think he he wanted that first call out. But, I mean, he was third call out last, last year. So, whatever. Second. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then they moved him in. Um, he was, like, in the middle of the second call outs. And then, then they went through all the other call outs. I mean, there were like 60 men. Um, and then they, so only top 10 gets to go to finals. So um, normally they do like the confirmation round at like a regular pro show for like the top four, mm-hmm. but they have to do the confirmation for like the top two call outs so they can determine what 10 are going to go to, to finals. Yeah. Um, so he was able to get compared with um, like the sixth through 10th. So that was good. And so we like how they were moving them around. Like we pretty much knew he was either ninth or 10th Mm -hmm. uh, and that he was going to finals. Um, So that was, I mean, I was just so proud of him. He's worked so hard and seeing him, I think the coolest thing was, you know, seeing him be coach Ben this entire year Mm -hmm. and kind of almost be a little bit quiet as Ben the athlete until like the last couple, you know, weeks or so. Um, But seeing, being able to see him transform from in the off season and an improvement season and focusing on being coach and then seeing his physique, like finally come to life and, you know, being able to do both like like the fact that he was he like immediately had to step off stage and then go take care of Tamikia backstage yeah. and I'm 
pretty sure that he was the only athlete who was also coaching someone. That's pretty bad. Um, and he's just, I mean, it was, it was really cool to just kind of be there and watch him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was so funny. So um, after finals, um, we were all in, all in his room, like his mom, um, Jan, who's one of our masters, bikini pros, Daniela, um, a, we were all, <laughs> our appetizer for dinner was Tika's brownies. <laughs> oh, yum. Oh my gosh. That's the best Osho treat. That's all I needed. By the time we got to dinner, I'm like, uh, I ordered an egg white omelet cause we went to like a diner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we were, we were coming back from, from dinner, me and Travis, um, and we were, went to the room to get like the rest of my stuff. And then I took Travis to the airport. Anyways, Ben was obviously so exhausted. It was like two o'clock in the morning and he was like laying down. He was like, I'm, I'm top 10. We're like, yeah, oh, you are. I don't think it like hit him. Cause I think he was a little bit frustrated. Like, I think he wanted to do better, which I mean, we all do, but like, I don't think it like truly hit him that he was top 10 in the world. Yeah. And then we were like getting ready to leave. He was like, I'm going to win the Olympia next year. <laughs> like, yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah, you are. Dude. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. So I mean, sometimes like, like, yes, you need to, that's the shitty part and amazing thing about bodybuilding. Uh, we reach that goal and it's not good enough. Right. Um, so it like, yes, we need to celebrate the fact that he was top 10, but that lit a fire in him even more so that, mm -hmm. you know, all right, the goal next year is win the Olympia or, you know, Hey, top five, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I would. I kept telling people, I'm like, dude, I just need to make it to the Olympia. I don't even care if I'm last call outs. I'm going to be in that last yes. call out, like waving at everybody like, hi, mom. Hi, Megan. Hi, Lucy. Like, <laughs> I'm just going to be happy to be there. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's gonna give be me that last call out. I don't care. I'll be, I'll be <laughs> You're in the top the Olympia. That's the elite of the elite. Like, hello, uh, you can't be mad about that. Yeah. It's so, gonna next year's gonna be great. Yeah, 2025. So everyone's working towards those goals. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but it, it's so true, like the being around that atmosphere, like the last two leg days that I had have been amazing. Yeah. And I like I'm always pretty focused in the gym, but like I'm just like even that is so in the forefront of my brain that I'm just like fucking doing it <laughs> yes hell yeah brother i when you text me on saturday when you were like i'm the most nervous i've ever been in my life i i wanted to be like okay keep me posted but then i was like oh you know she's gonna keep me posted i'm not gonna bother her <laughs> but i'm sitting there like <laughs> waiting <laughs> i was so nervous because i was just like i know ben has worked so hard yeah for this and i just like i didn't want it to not go his way <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we don't need that yeah but he did awesome I just am like I could the men's physique better like his waist is so small and his back is so big like obviously but it's just like fucking wild like the proportions yeah yeah I mean that's it, one of his superpowers is definitely his small waistline I was like can I get that waistline please <laughs> But yeah, it was a good, it was a good weekend. It was exhausting. Vegas is, I think, just exhausting in general. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. 2020, experience, 2025 so. Olympia should be back in Vegas again. So you think it is? Yeah. I think it, that's where it needs to be as, as convenient as Florida is for you know well, it's like everything is in Orlando all the events so it's nice to have one somewhere else like fucking Orlando dude I don't want to go to Orlando it's not even on the ocean no no but no, thank you. yeah so we're going to Vegas next year going to Vegas <laughs> I, told, I told everyone in my check-ins because everyone was asking how um how my weekend was how Ben did and I was like it was great next year everyone's going yes <laughs> I can't wait. 
<laughs> save enough money now. I'm just going to build a house there and <laughs> everyone just stays. Buy a van. <laughs> Get an Airbnb. Yeah. Rent out the top floor of a hotel room or a hotel panhandle. Um, I'll start saving five years ago. <laughs> Everybody start saving. Yeah. <laughs> Well, on that, that's our Olympia recap. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the recap of nothing. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. It was just about your weekend. Like, yeah. I've got shit. Just like the judges are the judges. <laughs> they can. Yeah. I'm nobody not else can talk about that. <laughs> yeah. But so. thanks for listening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Olympia. We'll Olympia. see you next year. We'll see you next year. You can find me on Instagram at Beckon underscore IFBB Pro. And you can find me at Keekers Laugh IFBB Pro. Give us a five-star rating and review and let us know what you think. As always, let us know if you have anything you want us to cover. Yeah, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> What's up, guys? Coach Kiki here. I just wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of Champagne Gains. If you loved this episode, please make sure you do all of the things. Like, subscribe, give us a five-star rating and review, and share with your champagne bestie. Champagne Gains is also brought to you by Coach Kiki LFG Gym Gear. Unlock the full power of your workouts with Coach Kiki's Let's Fucking Grow hip bands, long resistance bands, cable ankle straps, and hip thrust pads. For all of your sprinkle booty gains, check out CoachKikiLFG.com. Thanks, guys. Cheers.